Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're going to be solving this interesting limit problem from Geoadvanced Mathematics in 2016. And this question is also one of my viewer suggested problems. So the question is, let f of x, that is limit when n is going to infinity, then we have this huge parenthesis, um, n to the power of n times x plus n times x plus n over 2 times all the way up to x plus n over n over n factorial times x squared plus n squared times x squared plus n squared over 4 times all the way up to x squared plus n squared over n squared. Now to the power of x over n for all positive values for the x. Then we need to choose the options. We have four options there. So for this question, what I'm going to do first is I'll be rewriting this inside of this parenthesis part, right? Using product operator. So let's first rewrite this expression inside of your parenthesis. So in this case, we can rewrite this as, first of all, n now to the power of n over n factorial. Okay. And then that times product operator, say, k is equal to 1 to n. Then we have x plus n over k over also product operator from k is equal to 1 to n. And then we have x now square plus n square over k square. Okay, then we can break this into some smaller units. So we can rewrite this as now. Still, we have n to the power of n. And then over n. Okay, then that times another huge fraction. Then we have n to the power of n over uh, product operator from k is equal to 1 to n and k. That times product operator k is equal to 1 to now n. Then we have k over n times x plus 1. Okay. Also for your denominator, we can do the same. But the denominator, it should be n to the power of 2n over product operator from k is equal to 1 to n. Then we have k squared. That times, same thing. Product operator from k is equal to 1 to n. Then we have k now square over n squared times x squared plus 1. Okay, then it has to be n to the power of now 2n times n factorial square over the same expression, n to the power of 2n times n factorial square. Okay, that times product operator k is equal to 1 to n, then we have um, k over nx plus 1 over product operator from k is equal to 1 to n, then we have k square over n square times x square plus 1. We can conveniently factor these two out. So that is why what we have right now is only this term. Product operator from k is equal to 1 to n, then we have k over nx plus 1 over same product operator from k is equal to 1 to n, then we have k squared over n squared times x squared plus 1. Okay. So this expression that we just derived, Okay, this is what we have inside of this parenthesis. So that's why your f of x is still limit n goes to infinity. Then inside of this parenthesis, your expression is the same thing as this. Now to the power of x over n. Now we can come up with the Riemann sum using this by calling this, say, capital letter f of x. Let's say this is ln of f of x. Okay, then let's represent this capital letter f of x. It's the same thing as now the limit n is going to infinity. Okay, then we have x over n. Okay, then we should have summation from k is equal to 1 to n. Okay, then we have inside it has to be the limit of this expression, k um, over n x plus 1. That divided by k square over n square x square plus 1. Okay, so which is, we can rewrite this as now the limit and it's going to infinity, then we have just the x times summation, k is equal to 1 to n, and then we have ln of, same expression, k over n x plus 1, over now k square over n square x square plus 1, and then that times 1 over n. Okay, then this is a Riemann sum, so that's why we can rewrite this as now, um, x times integral from 0 to 1, okay, then we have ln of, say, y x plus 1 over y square, um, x square plus 1, and then we have now dy. 
Okay, then based on this, let's make a u substitution. I'll be calling u as just a y x. Okay, then your f of x, capital letter f of x is now equal to uh, from 0 to x. Then we have ln of now u plus 1 over u squared plus 1 and du. Okay, let's make some notes, right? So for your u, if your u is now for u that is greater than or equal to 0, which means this inside part, u plus 1 over u squared plus 1 is then less than or equal to 1. This is the same thing as now then u plus 1 is less than or equal to u squared plus 1. Same thing as now u is less than or equal to u squared, right? Which is the same thing as now u has to be greater than or equal to 1, which is an important part. So based on all of this work, if your u, if your u is between 0 and 1, then your ln of now u plus 1 over u squared plus 1, this has to be greater than or equal to 0. Okay, so that's why we can choose one option. So that's why on the interval from 0 to 1, your f, capital letter F, is now increasing. So based on this, we can say your capital letter F of 1 over 3 should be uh, less than or equal to capital letter of 2 over 3, which will say your F of 1 over 3 has to be less than or equal to F of 2 over 3. So that is why. So this option B is the answer. But then again, we need to take a look at option C. So based on all of these work, capital letter F of X is equal to ln F of X, and all these works that we just set up, we can easily say your F prime X. F prime X has to be equal to F of X, now times um, ln of X plus 1 over X squared plus 1. So that's why this F prime of 2 it's the same thing as f of 2, which has to be positive, times ln of, now, 3 over 4 plus 1, 5. But then again, ln 3 over 5, this is a negative. So that's why this f prime 2 is negative. That's why this option C is also the answer. So we have two options, option B and C. That is the answer for this question. So this question is pretty interesting. The viewer suggested limit question from G Advanced Mathematics in 2016. So I'll be back with more, more questions like this sometime soon.